So the TicWatch Pro 5 and the Huawei Watch 4 are both just a few days old and are already tested both of them in separate videos. But how do they do in a direct comparison? So today we will check out the different aspects of these watches like the battery life, what features do we have and how good is the activity tracking. But first up let's start with some of the specs and the design. So the Tick Watch comes in at the price of 350 euros over here in Germany and is only available in one size and one color. And that's that all black 48 millimeter version. It has a 1.43 inch Alma Touch display with anti-fingerprint and a resolution of 466 by 466 pixel. It has a solid 24 millimeter silicon strap that is very sturdy and interchangeable. Just like the Galaxy Watch 5, it runs on Wear OS 3.0, which means you get all of the good Android features like the Play Store, or Spotify, and other things. When you take a look at the bezel, you see that it's textured on top and tempers off towards the edges of the watch. We get two physical buttons off, which the upper one is a rotatable crown, so you can navigate through your watch using this instead of swiping, and the upper button only opens up your recently opened apps. The Huawei Watch 4 has a big 1.5 inch Alma Touch display with a resolution of 466 by 466 pixel. Unlike the Tick Watch, this one is available in different sizes. There is a 48 millimeter version if you get the Pro Elite watch, which will cost you a couple of hundreds more. For the price of just 450 euros over here in Germany, you will get this one, and which is water resistant up to 5 ATM and only weighs in at 48 grams without the strap, which is great given the size of the watch. The Watch 4 has a 22mm full elastomer strap with a quick release feature and a stainless steel case, glass front and a ceramic back. This one also has two physical buttons on the side, but unlike the Tick Watch, the lower button is customizable and can be connected to three of your applications for a quick access. The crown is rotatable and has the same function as the one on the Tick Watch. The main difference between these two watches is that the Tick Watch Pro 5 is only compatible with Android smartphones, whereas the Huawei Watch 4 is compatible with Android and iOS smartphones. Next up, the health tracking. So as usual, you get a heart rate tracker on both watches that will track all day and all night, a SPO2 tracker that will only track on demand or during the night, stress tracking, both watches have a sleep tracker that will tell you your sleep cycle, sleep duration, but the difference is that only on the TakeWatch Pro 5 you have the one tap measuring that will track your heart rate, SpO2 level, respiration rate, stress and your heart health at the same time. The Wild Watch 4 can also track your arterial stiffness, it checks your skin temperature and you have heart glands. This is basically an overall health check on all of your health metrics and it will detect abnormalities if you have any. So Wild Watch actually have a very good set of health trackers. When it comes to the sport modes, I think the TicWatch Pro 5 is doing a little bit better. On the Huawei Watch 4, you have the basics covered and a few extras like triathlon, plus you can create your own workout plans and you have a selection of preset running workouts like fat burning programs, hit and tempo runs, beginning and advanced running, and a few more. The Tick Watch is more like the Samsung Galaxy Watch. You get a whole bunch of workouts, not only running, cycling, and walking, but also arm curls, gym exercises, water and winter sports, boxing, dancing, and the list goes on. Now, it doesn't have these running courses, nor can you create own workout plans. Also, the customization options on both of them are limited. You basically can set some goals, reminders, you have an auto pause function, and both, of course, have a built in GPS that tracks your route pretty accurate. Feature wise, the Huawei Watch and Tick Watch are similar in some ways, but not 100%. Since the Tick Watch runs on Wear OS, you get the Google Play Store on which you can download all of the common apps like Amazon Music, you get Spotify, YouTube Music, and some games. The Huawei Watch has its own app store in which you will not find things like Spotify, Amazon, or YouTube. And you are stuck with the Huawei Music app, which basically works like Spotify. So you can download your favorite songs, tracks, playlists, and podcasts to the watch and listen to them offline. Now, keep in mind that both apps require a premium membership in order to listen to your songs offline. You get to build a mic and a speaker on both watches, which means you can start, receive, and decline in common calls. But unfortunately, the Tick Watch has no voice assistant, even though it has everything it needs. The Huawei Watch 4 uses Celia voice assistant, which works just like any other voice assistant. You can start your calls and workouts, start timers and set alarms, or check for the weather. A great feature that you will find on the Huawei Watch are the tiles, which are customizable. Instead of having just one specific app 
per tile, you get multiple apps per tile. Like this, you have a whole tile with all of your health metrics or one with all of your sport modes and activity stats. Of course, on both watches, you receive all of your notifications and you can reply to them as well and you get plenty of watch phases with which you can interact and use the complications as little shortcuts to the actual app. You can download more watch phases on the TickWatch app or on the Huawei Health app and you will find some cool ones that you have to pay for. But there's also always a free section in which you will find lots of watch faces, starting from digital and analog watch faces over to some that are packed with metrics. Simple and colorful ones and you really get a big variety. One part of smartwatches that is always pretty important and that is the battery life. And right here both watches are pretty similar. So the Huawei watch lasts about three days on normal usage but only two days if you turn on the always in display mode. The Tick Watch Pro 5 lasts about 80 hours on normal usage but once again only about 40 to 50 hours if you turn on the always in display mode. So overall you can't say that one watch is better than the other one since they are very similar in many ways and there's just a few differences of which one is definitely the price gap of 100 euros and that you don't have the voice assistant on the Tick Watch. So I would say if you don't need the voice assistant, the Tick Watch Pro 5 is the better watch to get. Of course it's also always the design but everyone just has a different taste. And guys, there we have it. That's the Wild Watch 4 and the Tick Watch Pro 5. Now I cover both these watches already in separate videos. Just click that video right here to get right to them. And I guess with that one being said, I will see you on the next one. Peace.